Good morning or afternoon scopers, depending on where you're at. I'm Karen Barno. I'm trying to get my camera adjusted here. I'm sitting out in my backyard. And I want to welcome you to watching this, whether it's live or replay. I'm Karen Barno with Find Your Blue Rose. I'm creator and founder of it. And if you're watching this on, on iOS, swipe to the left to share. I love shares. And if you're watching it on Android, swipe up to share. Like I said, I love people to share. Today's talk is going to be about rain, and I know that's funny because it's a beautiful Arizona day. It's kind of cold for us in the summer. It's only about 90 so far, but last night we had rain like you wouldn't believe. We had over an inch, and in the desert when it rains, wow, things flood quick. Hi, Crystal Keen, and this, will sound, this topic will sound familiar to you. Hi, DeLong. It was beautiful. Hi, Sky Chick. Welcome. Tim Barber, Welcome. Tismania, welcome. Welcome, everybody. Love hearts. Give me hearts. We're talking about rain and how we had a great rainstorm. Yep, Mesa, you got, got really hammered in Mesa. We got some in Tempe, which we usually don't, but for some reason, Mesa, the past couple of years, you guys have really been getting a lot of rain. But the, the thing about rain is, to me, it's a way to... Oops, I have my laptop in my hand so I can watch um, tweets coming in. But the thing about rain is it's a way to cleanse us. It's a way to cleanse our soul, to cleanse our chakras. And we all need to clean out our chakras every once in a while to make sure that we're able to receive everything from Earth. You know, you're so right about California living that EO life. I go to California every year and my heart just breaks. I keep waiting for the time when they're going to say absolutely no more water there. I mean, you go to Palm Springs, I digress, but if you've ever been to Palm Springs, or look it up on Google, a patch of green and a bunch of surrounded by desert, and yet they consume so much water because of the golf course. So anyway, we're talking about um, cleansing yourself. Also, today is an 888 day, which is a Lionsgate portal. It means abundance and material wards. So it's funny that in, after rain, you're cleansing yourself. You're also looking at material wards, rewards. You're expanding your capacity. You're feeling more deeply right now. You're experiencing emotions that you might not be used to experiencing and, or emotions that you might have long forgotten about that all of a sudden are percolating to the top. Because how cool is it to have an 888 day? I think that's awesome. And also you're discovering how to be more authentic and to love more completely. And to be honest, I love love. I love love. I love loving. I love everything about love. I think love is freeing because when you open your heart to love, you're opening your heart to anything and you're opening yourself up. And when we open ourselves up, we allow more things to enter into our lives and we allow more abundance and more rewards and more gratitude and more love and more friends. And it's just, it's awesome. I love love. So on this magical day of 888, instead of focusing only on what you want, choose instead to focus on loving and accepting those parts of you that you don't like so much. I mean, we all have a you know, we all have parts that was like, oh, not a, oh, yep, love wins, love that hashtag. We are not a fan of that, or we're not a fan about this. But accept it, because hi Turkey, how are you? I got I was um, got orders together when I was in the military. Little sidebar. Um, open your when you open yourself up and you accept yourself completely. The universe loves that because the universe made each one of us different and if you're you know if you follow me on Facebook you saw my post this morning was talking about um, sunsets and how each day the sunset is unique and each day is unique from when you wake up in the morning to you go to bed it's a, it's a different day I mean that's what's so wonderful about what's the topic cleansing how to cleanse yourself but I always digress um, each day is unique and wonderful so when you go to bed at night and you may not have had a great day you know you've got tomorrow and it's a new day and you can make it, you can cleanse it and make it wonderful. And live, but always remember to live with passion and live in the moment. We all kind of look around and we all have our nose stuck down in our iPhones, unless you're watching one of my scopes. Live in the moment and embrace what's going on. And also, when you're going through a cleanse, what's holding you back? Anybody want to let me know what they think is holding them back from achieving their goals? For me, it's, it's, well, it's fear. I think for most of us, fear. But I get caught in my own head. I have like a hamster wheel up there, as my daughter would say. And I just get caught in it, and I keep going over and over, and should I do this, and should I do that? Instead of just saying, darn it, 
um, doing it. The past, I think a lot of us have a past that holds us back. I think a lot of us get caught in, to get caught in the past and we let the past define us instead of saying, you know what, that's in the background and I'm going to move forward and not let that define me. But, it, you know, it's easier said than done. My past was not a very good past. It was a very tragic past filled with a lot of words of Rosie Posey. Um, Crystal Keen and Rosie Posey are sitting on the patio. I have a bulldog, and maybe I can get her over here before I'm over, but bulldogs don't do well in the heat, and anytime it's over 90, she struggles. But she had to come out because she's nosy, so she's on the patio. So anyway, I get caught in my own head, and I, and I can't decide what to do. But getting back to the past, there's ways to reframe your past. There's ways to look at your past and say, okay, I'm not going to let that affect me. And if you want to um, follow my blog or go on my website, I have some programs that talk about how reprogramming the past. Like I said, my past was terrible. It was, tr it was awful, and I got caught up in drugs and alcohol and a lot of other stuff trying to forget it. Once I learned how to reprogram it and embrace me and love me, it really was completely life-changing. So if anybody else want to let me know what holds them back, what they feel is keeping them from moving forward? Nope. Well, it's a Saturday afternoon. Probably a lot of you guys on the East Coast are lazing by the pool. Because what time would it be on the East? 1.30. Yeah, nope. We don't have the 12.30. 2.30. It'd be 2.30. You would think, I'm from Pittsburgh. You would think I would know that. So, again, here in Arizona, we're celebrating the rain and the wonderful nature and the cleansing of it. So today on 888, the Royal Lion Day, look at your life. Embrace yourself. Love yourself. Give gratitude manifest you know we're in an eight year by the way an eight year is a manifesting year it's abundance everything should be flowing to you and um if you have any questions let me know come here rosie i'll see if i can get rosie to come over here i don't know if she will i might have to go to roseburg because she is a she is a a bulldog that and i don't know if any of you guys have bulldogs out there but they um completely and totally follow their own path so here rosie rosie Say hi. Rosie, pick up your head. Don't pick up your head. Pick up that. Nope, she's not going to pick up her head. She's going to, she's just living a life. So, anyway, so that's all I got for right now. If anybody has any questions, let me know. Enjoy your Saturday. Have a great day, and I'll talk to you tomorrow for my weekly tarot card reading. Thanks a lot, guys. Bye-bye.